Shockton, Public Enemy, Bomb Squad, Spectrum City. I'm here at DJ Khan 2017. It's kind of dope. Second year, but it's dope. It's dope. It's a good place for young DJs to come in and find out what they need to do as, as far as being a DJ and a producer. Always understand that, producer too. So one of the things, one of the things that's cool about this is you get to meet other DJs that's been doing it, that's been putting it down. Cats like Ted Smooth, Jazzy Joyce, um, uh, 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 Jazzy J. A lot of Jazzy's up in here, right? Um, and, and, and it's a cool thing, and I just think with the scope of DJs and DJ resurgence, it's a great thing because now we're back into the party where it's not about you always going to see a rapper. You can go ahead and listen to your favorite DJ play your favorite music, whether you're doing hip hop, trap, house, underground, soul food, pop, I don't know, whatever you want to do. Um, it's a great, it's, it's cool, man. I've been, I've been in the DJ world for a long time. <laughs> been a long time in the DJ world. So it, it's, it's a thing where now it's a valuable business. Before, when I started, it was like a hobby. You got to get another job, you wasn't paying bills. Now you can make a living at it. So it's a, it's a great thing. And it's a cool thing that, that that Global Spin has broke and did the subdivision with DJ Khan. And you get the and DJs can come in and get to check out equipment, other DJs, what's new on the block. I do a lot of stuff with PV. You want to do mobile DJing? That's where my world is. Mobile DJing. Buy a crazy sound system. And you need to have a crazy sound system. I come from mobile DJ culture. That was early hip hop. So it's like us cats, when you were, you were up in the Bronx, you in Brooklyn, you in Queens, you on Long Island, we all was getting down in the streets and in the parks. And then we moved to doing spots in youth centers, um, open venues, and everybody coming together and just partying. That's what, that's what DJ Culture was. And then the MC brought about who's telling you what's happening, what's going on, party saying, the, then the b-boy, I'm not going to say that word, but it's called b-boy. Those are the ones that would hit the ground. You up rocking, you low rocking, you head spinning, you windmilling. That's b-boy. Shout out to Crazy Legs, you know, an old Rocksteady crew, New York City Breakers. Oh, I'm showing my age, y'all. Y'all need to stop. You need to stop right there. The, the main thing to me about DJing is we understand the turntablism. And we understand that the showmanship, that's all defined. But it's about if you're doing a party, rocking the crowd and understanding what your crowd is looking for, but you're dictating to them what's hot. Because they come in to hear music. Yes, they want to hear the stuff that they hear on the radio, but I think it's imperative that you as a DJ, especially if you're young, break new records. You know, it doesn't always have to wait for the radio station. If you got your audience, you playing something hot that's new, come on, man. Give, it, give those artists that shot. Give them that shot. But it has to be good. Just don't play it because my man made a record and it's trash and you can't play it. You can't, but you have to be objective about good music, no matter what genre you rock. So that's the main thing that I think DJs should know how to read their crowd because it's a party and it's a dance. All right? Keith Shockley, Public Enemy Bomb Star Spectrum City, here at DJ Con. It's dope. Come next year, come check it out. It's going to be off the chain. I'm out. Peace.